At the New York Hall of Science, we think that getting kids interested in STEM or getting kids interested in science has to start with a personal investment, a personal question, something they're curious about. I think one of the challenges with STEM learning more broadly is, particularly in the world of formal education, it's still taught primarily through a textbook where you're reading information, you're answering questions at the end of a chapter, and that really has very little to do with how science learning or how STEM learning takes place in the real world. So we take a very different approach. We take an experiential approach. We take a hands-on approach. We take an approach that privileges discovery and exploration. And we take an approach that puts young people in the driver's seat where they're able to feel a sense of their efficacy and purpose in learning. We create activities in such a way that young people are invited to think about how do I, how do I want to make this city a happier place? And how am I going to use sort of circuits and LEDs to do that? Right away in that experience, they're creating something that's meaningful to them. And that kind of personal investment is what carries you forward in learning. It's true for all of us.